creepy crawlers news. Ooh, uh, I know. Submitted by Waiting for Baby Bear. Me too, buddy. Trust me, me too. I get to sit next to Baby Bear, yay! I think the one side of us is like, just hold on for another couple months. <laughs> And then there's another uh, side. Wait, 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 what was that? We talked about it, and then there's another side of us that we're super curious what he looks like. Oh, I can't wait to see what oh, he looks yeah. like. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for that. I don't want to wait. I want it out of my body. <laughs> a 20 year old says he is making over $6,000 a month farming cockroaches. Oh, hey. Whoa, $6,000 $6, a month? month? <laughs> Damn, that guy's a G, he's an entrepreneur. What the fuck? Why the fuck do you need cockroaches for like, in like insect food? Pet food, yeah. Oh. I mean, pet food. Pet food, really? What eats Who cockroaches? Eats, yeah. Yeah. Lizards? Birds? I eat snakes? Yeah, all those. <laughs> Mice? They don't, they don't really specify in this article, but yeah, they just say that it's pet food. Or are they exotic cockroaches that people buy? Because I know there's different kinds of cockroaches. Oh, there's like the mm. big ones and the fucking They also mention that ones. people uh, buy them. Because so this takes place in China. And so they, don't they have a shit ton of free cockroach? I'm just kidding, China. <laughs> I'm kidding. Watch they're the rats. Comment section just yeah, there's free right. rats, okay? <laughs> yeah. We love you, China. It's just a joke. <laughs> so he's saying um, that there's also parts of China where cockroaches are a delicacy, so they buy them. Oh, oh motherfucker, to eat. what? Yeah, you haven't seen that. Oh. Is this a Vice article? No. Oh, okay, because I, I watched a Vice documentary where they were showing like all the new like trendy ways to eat bugs and stuff. Like the trendy way. What the yeah, fuck? When like, did it become a trend? It's coming back, I guess. Like, when did it leave? What? I, I guess it's the there thing. There are some cultures though that eat bugs like on a regular. Well, he said it's a trend. <laughs> well, hipsters just take what's been happening in the different cultures and then they kind of start doing it. Right? Because they were showing it in like <laughs> sauces and stuff. They would put like uh, silkworm grubs and stuff like that and just eat uh, them like alive. Like a silkworm alive? people de gallo yeah, or something? They were just, like, I'm down uh, fried, yeah. but. They had fried dishes too and stuff, but yeah, it was like a whole thing. And then they had like these giant farms of like uh, roaches and everything. Well, I have heard that seeing the way like humanity's going, where we're just super populated, at one point, it's gonna be hard to consume the food that we're already used to these days, and so they're looking at insects for protein sources. Awesome, vegetarian, here I come. <laughs> if they make insect chips and it tastes bomb, I wouldn't be opposed to eating them because they're high in protein. Yeah, remember those crickets that we were like, challenge, and then I was like, actually, I think I could get used to this because it's just like shrimp trips. <laughs> what are shrimp trips? Shrimp trips. <laughs> what are shrimp trips? They're like chips, but they're like they chirp. Oh, <laughs> shrimp chirps. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so this student. Six thousand bucks a month. Yeah, six thousand. So he's a twenty-year-old uh, named Tong, and so <laughs> I didn't make that kind of money when I was twenty. Yeah. So Tong, uh, they don't mention what what pet he has, but they're just saying that. At one point, he was buying a lot of cockroaches to feed his pet, and in order to save money, he decided to try to farm his own cockroaches, and that's when he met a cockroach farmer named Te, and so the two of them teamed up and- Te and Te. <laughs> Ta and Tong. What's the name? Tong and Te? It's Te. It's T-S-E. Te. <laughs> but yeah, so the two of them teamed up and they, they have their own cockroach farm where they make 6,000? What do they do, just throw the trash on the floor? <laughs> Wait for the cockroaches to farm? Yeah, I was actually curious too, they don't really go into detail how they farm it, but they're yeah. saying that uh, he has about 30 to 40,000 cockroaches. Oh my god! After oh my six god. months of starting the farm. After only six months? That's a, that's a lot. Pictures? Wow. Yeah. Of cockroaches? Oh, of the homies. <laughs> I just have... That's kind of funny, that's like me and Bart, but like instead of comedy and YouTube, it's cockroaches. <laughs> so this is Tong. Hi, my name is Tong. I like a cockroach. <laughs> I don't have a picture of Tse, but here's another photo. Oh, shit. Oh. You know what's interesting too? Tong is actually afraid of cockroaches. What? Yeah. How does he get over his fear to like? He likes money. <laughs> yeah, that's the Asian shit. His desire for money is over his fear of cockroaches. Yeah, I want to yeah. get rid of that shit. I know what that feels money. like. <laughs> what? Well, what feels like? Like I'm scared of heights, but if someone gave me ten million dollars, I'd jump out of a plane like that. Mm. <laughs> Skydiving, roller coaster, whatever you name it, I'm down. You mean to tell me you make six thousand a week on a cockroach? <sighs> okay, fear factor. Here I come. <laughs> It's a month. Oh, I thought it was a week. That's still a lot for yeah. a yeah. But it's split between two people. Yeah. So is it really well, that? Maybe he makes it. Yeah, I was going to say, like, isn't that his cut? 
What if the other guy's also making six thousand dollars? And it's China. Because they don't specify yeah. that. That's true. And so the dollar China. go a long yeah, way. So they're probably balling out of control over there. Yeah, that's crazy. He probably has cockroach groupies and stuff. <laughs> what? Fans. I don't know. He's probably like the Mark Zuckerberg of cockroaches out there. Zuckerberg has groupies. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he does. People love Tech Dick. <laughs> tech Dick. Yeah. yeah. Tech Dick. <laughs> Nowadays. They got tech groupies. Oh. Yep. Like that one movie uh, about the Facebooks, the social, the, the social, social network. experiment. Asian girls experiment. love white nerds, <laughs> and white nerds love Asian girls. Uh. That's like the match made in heaven. That's true. Uh, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg is married to that Chinese chick, right? <laughs> yep. <Heaven>. Yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this shit though. Like, that's dope. I, I, I'm so proud of you guys. Like, dope. You found a business in something that none of us would find a business in. But what the? And this fuck? is low real estate farming. Keep it in mind. It is. Cause try to farm ten thousand cows, and you're gonna need like hundreds fucked. and thousands yeah. of acres. What do cockroach eat besides the garbage? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's it. Lots of garbage. You know, it's interesting though that they're saying that cockroach farming is a booming industry in what China. What in the fuck? That is so yeah. weird. Maybe they don't have the same like idea about cockroach the way we do. Cause you know how we got like crickets is our pet food. You know, like oh that's cool crickets. Maybe mealworms, but we don't use cockroach because cockroach is the dirty dirty bugs. Why is well, it? Well, apparently they though? also use it. Like they also crush up cockroaches in China and they put them in pills and then people take them. Sounds very oh, Chinese. <laughs> I used to take. Um, oh, what the fuck! <laughs> what? You gotta tell me this shit. <laughs> no, I used to drink. Uh, uh, ground up wasp. Huh? So I'll go with my mom to like the herbal store. Like I have a cold or something, and instead of just getting like Nyquil, we go to the herbal store, and this motherfucking old geezer comes out with the old school scale. Right. So it's not even a digital uh -huh. scale. It's like this scale that's made out of a fucking ivory tusk, and then there's like this brass. Ivory hand. tusk. It's Fuck like that guy. Hand, and he grabs like a handful of dried wasps, and you see where this thing dangles, and then my mom would go home and make soup out of that, and I would drink it. What did that taste like? Shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you like like stinky tofu shit or? No, like I'm talking about the bitterness of coffee times Whoa. ten thousand. Did it work right away? Because if it didn't, that sucks. I don't what even. Did you have? What was she trying to cure? I don't know the diseases. The I don't even have. Devil that he had as a child. <laughs> Why do Chinese people gotta eat everything that moves? I don't know. It's it was pretty nasty. It was like dark, thick, really, really, really bitter. I'm with you. I had to drink soup like that for a good three months, and my cold never went away. <laughs> <laughs> you had a three-month cold? Maybe it was giving you, you the just cold. Yeah, rest for like a week. Worse. I don't know what it was, but mom was like, here, you should drink it, because this is what the doctor said. And I was like, mom, I really what don't doctor? want to. What yeah. doctor? The fucking witch doctor? I like to see this, this man's qualifications. Yeah, it was the doctor that would check my pulse and be like, hmm. That ain't no doctor. I can, uh, I can check your yeah. pulse. And then, and then he was like telling my mom these things, oh, your daughter's body's like way too hot. Like, here's some medicine. And like, they'll have like, you know, like, um, I, like for the herbal medicines, they'll have like like pieces of antler. <laughs> yeah, there's antler. <laughs> there's like antler dates, like there's roots. Yeah. Like there's all sorts of shit, and it's like it becomes really bitter. So like all you have to do is put that Pure ingredient antler. in a pot and you boil it. <laughs> Damn. That's yeah. Crazy. So for three months, and I was still sick, and my mom was like, I don't get it. Like let's go back to the doctor. I'm like, mom, can I just go can I just go to a regular like doctor and get a pill? <laughs> yeah. If you ever see a doctor in a garage, go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> That's how one of the fucking Chinese emperors died because they're like, you need to drink mercury, homie. Something's <laughs> fucked up in your heart yeah. and chi right here, so you need to drink mercury. So they, he drank some mercury for fucking immortal immortality. And I was like, yeah. you crazy. The afterlife. Real talk though, like if if you presented me with Eastern and Western medicine, because I'm so used to not taking Western or just medicine in general, I think I would probably gravitate a little bit more towards Eastern because it's natural and it's not as scary. Like you know the yeah. ingredients. What the fuck it is take a look? So scary. <laughs> like to what extent though? To what extent would you go like? Holistic like treatments over like um, I think once my body just it like three months later oh. probably <laughs> I'd move over to Western because I'd be like okay I tried my best oh. to do the holistic yeah. you know organic route let me try some Western chemicals is there a thing where they actually merge the two there is a thing there's yeah. people trying to do that for years they've been trying to do that recently uh, my brother took his uh, fiance over to that doctor that I went to when I was younger <laughs> why would you let him? No, no, well, I, 
because I wasn't there. not in jail yet? I wasn't there. You see them are licensed. So they also called my mom too. Like who? And then so the doctor was like, oh. I know, good question. <laughs> no, they are though. They, they have like, uh, like, they Eastern they medicine. Fired by another guy in a garage? <laughs> no. It's, it's actually, there's actually a bigger like, garage. <laughs> no, there's an actual like state or national license for these people. Uh, but I forgot what it is. It's really loose. It's like a, a <laughs> one year shit. licensing test or something. What? Yeah. What the fuck is it? The Chinese Wizards yeah. of America? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of degree the one, is that? The one that I used to go to with my mom. He so he always has like a white coat like a doctor and he had uh, so he prescribes you takes your pulse and all that And he has yeah. all these drawers of all these herbs and I've stuff. I've seen that my mom used to do that On shit. the other side he sells pagers. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's his place. It was weird. Pagers and calling cards. Yeah. Wow. How, how, this was a while ago then. Because yeah. <laughs> pagers. <laughs> He's still selling pagers. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, so now like they have the option of whether you want to boil it or you just want to take this pill that has everything in the it. pill the boiling smells like exactly. shit oh. yeah but the the fiance didn't know so she was about to say oh i'll make it into a soup and then my brother's like no she'll take the pill <laughs> dang that's crazy hey guys i hope you enjoyed that episode of just kidding news and if there's a story that you guys want us to talk about go ahead down into our description box below and there's a link there where you can submit articles for the next video click right up here <laughs>